What's up, guys? Justin here with another poorly reviewed beer from Victory Brewing Company in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. This is Anniversary Double X Imperial Pilsner. Uh, about two months ago, I did another 20th anniversary beer from Victory. Uh, that was actually just called uh, An Anniversary 20, which is why I'm calling this one Anniversary Double X, at least for the sake of uh, this video. They, Victory may refer to both of them as Anniversary 20, but just to differentiate between the two, at least for this moment, um, again, what I had before, Anniversary 20, and what I have right now, Anniversary Double X. The Anniversary 20 was an experimental IPA. Uh, I did a video of review about it, as I said, about two months ago. I will link that in the description below. But that seemed to be much more, I'm going to use the word whimsical. The, uh, the, the bottle art was much more colorful. It came in a 12-ounce bo bottle. I know I got it in a 12-ounce bottle. I can't recall if there were uh, larger, uh, larger bottles. This is a 750 milliliter, so equivalent to a standard wine bottle, even bigger than the the bombers you you often see in the beer world that show up that uh, clock in at 22 ounces. This is 25.4 ounces. Um, so, and again, uh, a much more colorful bottle art. You look at this, this is very, uh, I would use the word elegant in design um, with kind of the, the, the fake gold inlay. And even used on the back for part of the description. Um, so a very much more uh, professional looking setup for this beer. And um, what the brewers have to say about it. In celebration of 20 years of victory, it is only fitting that we offer you a brew that truly embodies European tradition and American ingenuity. This bold pilsner, complete with fragrant noble German hops, delivers rich earthiness and light citrus flavors, creating a deliciously drinkable beer. Raise your glass and taste victory. Malt use are Pilsner and Acidulated. Hops are Tetanang, Spalt, and Middle Fruit. And it checks in at 8% ABV. Let's give it a pour. So I got quite a bit of carbonation. I think part of that's just uh, as a result of the larger bottle. Uh, I think everything got um, more agitated as it was coming out of the bottle. As you see, that's a good three to four fingers worth of head, more than half of the glass. Uh, it is slightly hazy and a, a nice little orange color going on kind of lemony highlights around the edges. And just a, a little bit of a carbonation coming up through uh, the half glass of beer that I do have. All right, the head settled down on this beer. I got a pretty close to a full glass. So let's check it out. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, a sweet note is kind of the very first thing I'm 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 getting. Yeah, there's a bit of a sweetness. It's not really, maybe it's a little bit boozy. It is 8% ABV. But, um, hmm. I'm also getting a, a slight peppery note. Some earthiness as well. But I'm really, really quite sweeter than I expected. It should say more sweet, yeah, yeah, sweeter than I expected. That's that's proper English. I'll get there someday. A little bit of a, of a grassy or a, a grainy note in there. Um, much different than what I'm used to with Pilsner, so it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. But yeah, definitely, definitely getting a, a green or a vegetal note in there now. A little, some more pepper. I 
I'll leave you just a, a hint of bite from the hops at the very, very end. A uh, very unique beer, though. Very, very interesting flavor profile. A little much different than I was expecting. Again, I don't know if uh, I don't know if the booziness is completely generating that uh, that sweetness, but uh, it is something different. It is not at all what I expected in terms of a beer. Fortunately, I have all afternoon to uh, to ponder it. I still have about sixty percent of a bottle left here and half a glass. So, I expect I might be sipping on this for uh, quite a while. Yeah. But yeah, kind of in summary, just a a, 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 gra a grassy sweetness. That's all kind of melding together now to me. That's very much in the front. Of the tasting experience, and the back side of it turns earthy and peppery, with maybe just a, a little bit of bite to it. So um, that is the Victory Anniversary Double X Imperial Pilsner, and that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, so this is a makeup for uh, yesterday. I do apologize for not doing a video yesterday, but I uh, went to the movies and then. Uh, started drinking beer, have some excellent beers to write about uh, coming up on the blog. So um, this is the typical Thursday review, but with a holiday, <clears throat> with a holiday, I pushed it a little bit. So we will have the the scheduled um, weekend review tomorrow. And starting Tuesday, I'm going to be doing the the Christmas beer series. That'll begin on Tuesday. It's going to be done in the same format as the Oktoberfest. Uh, right now, I have six beers to try. And I'm really excited for it. It's uh, all different price points, various styles, various countries. I'm very excited to see how how all these beers are going to shake out. I'm going to do rankings like I did for the Oktoberfest beers. Um, right now, that's scheduled for six beers over three videos. If uh, things are going well and I'm feeling frisky and I like what I'm tasting, maybe I'll go and buy two more and make it into a, uh, a four-part series with eight, eight beers. Um, so that will be starting on Tuesday. And so uh, that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all of, my, all of my reviews, video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. You'll find those links in the description below. In addition, if you are on uh, Untapped, the beer tracking app for, uh, for mobile phones, as well as Instagram, I've started using I've started using Instagram. I've been on Untapped for a while, but I've uh, changed that over to the account name is Poorly Re Poorly Reviewed Beer, uh, spelled just like the website P O U R L Y Reviewed Beer, and same with the Instagram name is Poorly Reviewed Beer, as well. Um, I'll start putting links in the in the description uh, going forward, but both of those are more. Uh, more phone, mobile phone uh, and tablet-based apps, so uh, you can look me up by name on those. I'm also feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.